good luck if you're below five. How racist are you on a scale of one to 10? Racist, oh. Oh my God. Um, and be honest. Uh, how racist are you on a scale from one to 10? I'd like to say 10, but I think being white, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Again, okay, or... no, 10 means like super racist. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> Too late. I hate everybody equally. How racist are you? Uh, zero. 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 The type of family I come from, the type of people I'm around, I'm around a diverse, you know, family, people, and things like that, so, no. Not yeah. racist at all? Yeah, no. I wouldn't say so. How racist are you? Between a three and four of okay. racist? I would say four. A four, just because I think that there are things that I'm ignorant to, so it's not that I sit here to be racist, but I think that there's just things that I still need to learn. Like, I definitely feel like I could have better thoughts, like the initial thoughts and like try to- I don't think anyone's a zero. Yeah, you know who's a zero? A baby, okay? That's it. Like. You're like a zero when you're a baby, and then immediately, as soon as you like, ha, uh, you know, start losing losing object permanence. I mean, start gaining object permanence. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking of Republicans who never actually gain it; they lose it further. Um, you immediately start going all the way up to ten, and then you can work your way down from there. Learned a lot of things, so. I'm a one due to accidental racism. Now give me an example of accidental racism. I'm Filipino and sometimes I will mistake in some people for like different Asian races. For me, book knowledge, like there are times where I'm like, damn, like my people really be doing this. Growing up in like an Asian household, it's more like we discriminate against each other. It was always just like, oh yeah, you know, if you're, uh, Chinese, then you're like cheap with like money, but you have money, Korean, then you're gonna be someone that's uh, just kind of like put yourself above everyone else, super stuck up. In my Vietnamese household, um, I feel like Vietnamese people, they're a little bit more judgy. And so everywhere you go, um, there'd be things like um, they would point out. And so that's why I started noticing that too. Well, sometimes I'm making joke myself as a thinking on Asian. I can't do this, right? <laughs> Something there is a bad driver I see, I'm just saying. I Everyone is saying, like, they're racist to their own people, which is weird. But I think that's, like, the most ap uh, appropriate way to, like, claim that you have some biases. You know what I mean? It's a cop-out. I think it's she's a female Asian driver. Right, so many white people hate white people. Brother, how many times do we have to go through this? White people hating white people is not the same kind of racism that you fucking consider when you talk about, like, internalized xenophobia or some shit, okay? Or black people hating black people. It's not the same because white people is a concept created around having power and being close to power. Please, every single time we have this conversation, it's like, you, it's like saying, cishet men hating cishet men. It's like having heterophobia, okay? It's stupid. It's stupid as fuck. You would never take that seriously. Darker skinned black folks love to say light skins are a bunch of things they aren't. Oh my God, we are not opening up that door right now, okay? What about the Irish and the Brits? They are the same race. That's not about white people versus white people. That's literally Irish people who are victims of colonial occupation hating their occupiers. What do you mean? It's like damn near and tired of the Balkans hating Turks, okay? Or really loving Turks, one or the other. Nothing in between. <laughs> I can't say because of myself is that. How racist are you on a scale from one to 10? Towards my own race, probably like a five. Who's your own race? I'm Asian and white. So those are the two races I usually pick on. I'm Latinx, I was born in Mexico. Like sometimes I, I met other like, I meet other like Latinx people and they tell me like, you know, some situation I'm just like, oh yeah, that's such a Mexican thing. How racist are you on a scale of one to 10? I, um. What's your number? 
consciously, I want to say one. I mean, I would say like a one. One. Probably like. Dude, the pub. <laughs> White people can't just be like, yeah, I'm fucking racist this shit, dog. <laughs> uh. Like one. Point five. On a scale of one to ten, how racist are you? One. You're confident out of it. Yes. I feel like saying one is is almost ignorant. How racist are you, bro? I don't fucking know. If you ask Black Twitter, I'm a ten. If you ask Black Twitter, uh, or or the Barb's rather. I'm probably the most racist person in America. Like, in the continent of the United States, there's literally not a more racist person than me. Like, I'm basically the fucking, uh, the, the, the creator of the Ku Klux Klan. Um, if you ask me, um, I don't know. If you ask LSF, I'm the most racist person because of my anti-white racism, more racist than Adolf Hitler. Uh, so... Not okay to joke about. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why is it? No, why can't I do that? Why? Why am I not allowed to joke about that? No. <laughs> why? Anyway. I don't know. I don't know what the qualifiers would be. You need to hoop with more black people to be less racist, to be honest. First of all, I do hoop with plenty of black people. Uh, I just, uh, not on camera. Oh, man, you're so racist. Hitler accepted Jefferson's statements. I think, um, 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 I don't know. I don't know what level of racist I would be. I definitely have blind spots. If I'm being, like, super honest, I definitely have blind spots. I get too comfortable, but I think like that, that comes from, um, thinking that, uh, you know, my statements would not be misconstrued. Who am I racist towards? Like I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up in America. So it's like hard to make that assessment because I grew up in a country that's like where there are literally no black people. You know what I mean? Like functionally. There are tourists, there are athletes, and there's a, like an incredibly small, uh, minuscule, a tiny uh, enclave of um, Afro-Turks. So, like, I, I didn't grow up with, like, all of the social conditioning of, like, anti-blackness that comes from countries that heavily participated in chattel slavery. Um, cause that kind of white supremacist attitude, colorism and whatnot is like deeply embedded to the core of like, uh, living in these nations. How about anti-Kurdishness? Like, I don't know. See, that's another good, uh, that, that would be way more, uh, correct. Anti-Armenian, anti-Kurdish, anti-Greek potentially. But even then those are like the more prominent, uh, forms of, of bigotry due to ethnic identities but overall, I don't have any, uh, you know, I don't have any anger or any hatred towards them either. Like, I never really gave a shit. I was a weird kid. You know what I mean? Living in a homogenous country 100% contributes to anti-blackness. Ask black people in Japan. Um, I think that uh, you're not wrong. But, like, in a place like Turkey, it's more... Uh, it's more like naivete and curiosity rather than like, rather than like straight up being afraid of black people or some shit. You know what I mean? It's not coming from a place of malice, which is hard to describe to people. I'm sure Japan has plenty of that as well, by the way. And for the record, yeah, Turkey is not homogenous at all. It was literally the empire. It was an empire. It is not in any way homogenous at all. That's why you got motherfuckers that look like me. You got some dark-ass motherfuckers that are like Kurdish and Arab mixed. Okay? I mean, I even have that in me as well. I have Greek and also the other side as well. So, like, there's no... Like it's such a fucking American perspective to be like, yeah, it's so so homogenous. Yeah, it totally. Um
how is colorism in Turkey when it comes to darker skinned Turkish people? It's not like that. It's more so your proximity to potentially being Kurdish or Arab that like will draw ire. It's not like, it's weirdly, I don't know how the fuck Turkish people don't have, I mean, I guess like they do feature, they do f consider like a uh, Slavic, uh, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed to be like more exotic. So I guess there's a little bit of that on the colorism side. You know what I mean? But. It's so, you know, it's just like, it's not like colorism. Like, you, no one will be like, yo, you're. Again, colorism is like uh, either a, a, uh, a byproduct of colonial exploitation and like Western influence due to uh, justification that comes along with chattel slavery. Or it's uh, due to uh, classist perspectives like in Asia that predate that sort of thing. For example, you know, rice farmers being considered lesser than and because you're out in the fucking sun all day in the field, uh, that level of colorism came from uh, a class distinction. The, the, more, the more fair your skin was, the more higher up you were in the aristocracy uh, because you just never had to be out in the fucking fields and never get sun damage. So there's that kind, but I don't think Turkey has that either. So I don't know. I hope you know all your viewers are 40 years old and up. To make fun of this four-eyed, Aiden better ratio. Aiden put you on. What the fuck? Yeah, it's actually, this guy is actually so correct. So there was a dude that I went to school with. His name was... Literally, which means like Crimea, get I from Crimea. That was his name. It was his first name and last name, Doxed. And this dude was like ethnic Crimean. So he was like, like he looked Asian. He looked East Asian, not Asian like in the Turkic or Turkish sense, but like straight up. And I never even, I mean, he's a Tatar, right? So I never even thought about it as like a different race or anything. You know what I mean? Even though he looked very different. So it's, it's weird to, in Turkey, it's just like different. I don't know how else to describe it. But aren't Turks racist against Kurds or is that just propaganda? Yes, there is definitely anti-Kurdish sentiment, resentment. Um, if you say I'm Turk, even if you ethnically aren't, you don't face racism in Turkey, probably because Atatürk saying, Nemutlu Türkim diyene. Yeah, I mean, even Erdogan tried to talk about that with, like, alt kimlik, üst kimlik. Like, there was a point of contention in the Erdogan regime where he said, um, <clears throat> are you going to ban me? Fuck, look at this little one. He's just, like, so desperately trying to get attention. Don't ban him, by the way. <laughs> Cute, man. That's national, not racial, though? Yeah. Yeah, as a black person, there are three classes. One, light skin, two, brown, three, dark skin. Light skin people tend to be perceived as better or with big ego because back in the slave times, the lighter you were, the better you were seen by white people and had higher opportunities than their black counterparts in the community. Dark skin tends to be seen as below, which is crazy. Let's not even get into African-American versus Africans. I mean, I've talked about that a little bit. But anyway, uh, why the fuck were we talking about this? Oh, we were talking about how, uh, how race I am on a scale. I don't know. There's definitely some, uh, there's definitely some like, uh, the biases, I'm sure it's like almost impossible to avoid your blind spots. It's something that I talk about pretty candidly, like at the top of the hour when there's a three minute ad break and people are just like kind of blinded by it or they're like, what the fuck? What? There's a three minute ad break. And it's like, a lot of people don't even know that it's coming, but then some people know, but it doesn't even matter because like, you know. They're already subscribed. MB Chaos. Or they're lucky enough to get gifted a sub by MB Chaos. We just gifted 10 gifted subs. Or La AC Tuna. Thank you for the five. Here's the Thurman ad break now.
Very generic name, too. Thank you for the five gifted. Neil, what is he eating? Uh-oh, grab it. Of all the unconscious biases that I probably carry, yeah. so. But if you're a one, you could say you're. I, I try to actively work to be a one. One, ideally, one. Ideally. Hopefully not about anything actually? more. Actually. Actually, probably around that too. How racist are you? Probably two. My mom was pretty broad-minded and she made us broad-minded. We had plenty of contact with everybody. There was Hispanics and colored people and Oriental people. And I know there- Are you purposely avoiding the question? No, I just like legitimately don't know where I would land. And I think depending on who you talk to, that number changes dramatically. Um, my man said I'm broad minded, but then said colored people, but also at the same time, he's old enough. So he might literally be, uh, you know, I, I look, I'm anti-racist. Okay. I am. I, if you, if you subscribe to the idea that you're either a, a racist person or have some level of racist in you or you're anti-racist, I think I 100% fall on the line of anti-racist. I have dedicated a gigantic chunk of my commentary and what I do professionally to literally advocating and educating people to, you know, uh, re-educate themselves and, and relearn what they've learned their entire fucking lives. Um, Anti-white racist, you mean? No, <laughs> like anti, anti-racist, okay, in the way that you understand it. Um, but... I mean, I don't know. I, I still have blind spots, you know, like uh, moments uh, where uh, someone might consider to be a microaggression that I do not consider to be a microaggression at all because of the level of comfort that I have where I don't think that I'm like uh, being racist at all, uh, whether it be the hairline comment that was quickly patched up, let's be real, or whether it be uh, the Nicki Minaj uh, tweet where I was responding to her being like Tucker Carlson would tell you, uh, to get away from the bus if a bus was coming in your direction. And I said, no, Tucker Carlson wouldn't even have you on the bus, let alone uh, tell you to move away from it. And people were like, wow, that's really racist of you to say. You're making a bus joke about Nicki Minaj when I was literally just replying to her using uh, bus as an example. Um, and people consider that to be like dramatically racist. I still don't think it is. So I guess I'm a fucking five if you consider that to be uh, racist or I don't know, six, seven. Like. I said, yikes. These motherfuckers are <laughs> motherfuckers ready to get mad at me and upset at me for a, a thing that I didn't even tweet out from like three years ago. Yikes, dude. I mean, it's not. I, I literally don't. Like talking about Tucker Carlson being a white supremacist. Uh, when, when a black woman is defending him, I don't think it's fucking racist. Like, good luck. Oh, there was the other thing where I said Candace Owens and Tommy Lauren doing blackface, which was another one, uh, that people were like very upset about that, uh, people considered to be, uh, incredibly racist too. So there was that, you know, five, I guess. I don't think so. Does that make sense? Showing your true colors and as a racist, I don't like it. <laughs> so basically, no, you're dancing around the question. This is a question about how racist you think you are. No, you fucking idiot. I already said five, six, seven. Like, I really truly don't give a shit. Uh, I personally know in my heart. And through everything that I've done that I am anti-racist. But I don't give a fuck if you think I'm racist. And uh, some people do. And they can suck my cock. And people will always write like extended fucking paragraphs about how like a thing that I said is a microaggression. I mean, I think it's kind of denying her blackness. It might be more apt to call Candace Owens the black Tommy Lauren or Tommy Lauren the white face Candace Owens. Yeah, I, I get it. Like every single thing that I've said... 
I think is on a line. You know what I mean? Is on a line of like, is this unacceptable? Is this not unacceptable? I don't think I've ever gone over that line, but that line is arbitrary. And I think people consider that to be uh, a, a line crossing. Can you define a microaggression genuine question? Yes, of course. A microaggression would be like telling a black person that they are very articulate, for example. Um, it's like coming from implicit biases where you don't even know. Um, touching a black person's hair? I feel like that's a fucking aggression, not a microaggression. <coughs> yeah, saying that a black person is articulate, well-spoken, like, I'm surprised of how good of a driver you are, ma'am. Yeah, or, like, saying that to, like, an Asian person, you know what I mean, or a woman. It's basically, like, um, yeah, asking a Latino person whether they speak English or not, <laughs> like, someone who's, like, brown. Because, yeah, the implication is that you're surprised that a black person could be articulate to the point where you have to tell them. Yeah. Um. Oh, I got that one all the time, but still can't draw a line between that and the Candace joke. Oh, there was another one. Wait, hold on. What, what, where was it? Someone said... You're pretty for a black girl. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Like it, implying that like black women aren't pretty and that you're surprised that this black woman is, you know what I mean? That's like, like there's a lot of underlying racism that comes, uh, uh, from, uh, expressing sentiments like this. Does that make sense? You would have to be playing the longest game in history, and at that point, I'd just let you have it, broski. I'd be way too tired. I can say with confidence you aren't racist. I went to school with mainline PA kids. You were a Cherry Hill-type dude, I bet. No, I didn't go to high school here. You're not actually racist, like, exclusionary or hateful, but, like, that naive, blind spot, curious racism is a big part of white liberal racism, which is why you get a lot of unwarranted ire. But I don't think it's, like, coming from that. Like when I when I am um, crafting out like a like a statement that is is meant to be taken in a negative fashion, I recognize it as such. You know what I mean? Like the Candace Owens line is like that's supposed to be hurtful to Candace Owens. There's a line that I wouldn't cross, which is like, for example. Uh, the line I wouldn't cross is like uh, using, you know, the term Uncle Tom to describe a black person or something like that. I think that that is not up to me to say. You know what I mean? Um, or, or many other uh, words of a similar variety that is like even worse than that. I just think some people in the community may see your comments as white splaining, maybe demeaning their intelligence and their opinion. <laughs> Welcome to the rest of every other marginalized category that gets mad at me. A cisset white man describing political things to a very broad audience. I'm so confused at your thought process, but you're using her blackness to hurt her? No, I'm not. What? You are racist. The energy shouldn't go into disavowal, but it should go into the effort to be anti-racist. That's it. That's all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see? There you go. Um, I think I just don't care. Like, and that people do get mad. Some people do get mad when I say that, where they think it's like the same kind of dismissive attitude that a lot of white people have whenever they are being like legitimately fucking racist. So, so it's a touchy subject for a lot of people to cover. 
But when I say I don't care, I mean like I'm still going to advocate for the things I've been advocating for. It's not going to stop me and it's not going to change my mentality because like a bunch of people lied. I mean, lied. A bunch of people yelled at me online. <coughs> Does that make sense? Which is the point that I make when I say like I don't care what you think about it. So people get very upset about that because as I've described a million times over, and I do think that this is important to stand on for a moment, people don't look at your, people don't look at the context. People don't look at who you are as a person. They don't have the capacity to like analyze your previous actions and they don't know you on the internet, right? What they know is how you made them feel. What they know is how they contextualize what you said with all the trauma that they have experienced throughout the years of like, for example, being a black person growing up in America. So for that reason, they don't, they're not fighting a battle against someone like myself who they come in and watch every single day, describe things that are inherently anti-racist, describe, you know, concepts that they agree with concepts that they show their friends. Um, they are duking it out with the fucking racist bully that bullied them in high school on the on the bus you know what i mean they're duking it out with all the kids that made uh get to the back of the bus jokes uh when they're growing up so they're shadow boxing with someone that has caused a lot of trauma and harm with them in that moment so at that point it it's no longer a a rational conversation that you're having you're having a conversation with uh what they perceive you to be and they uh, and the harm that they have like experience through uh, uh you know whoever the fuck has has harmed them throughout their past that you are now the figurehead for and there's not really anything you can do in that situation which is why i always say look if you fucking hate me i understand i'm gonna keep doing the things i'm doing maybe you'll come back maybe you won't but ultimately that doesn't change who i am oh no Anne. Oh, come on. You riled her up and then you left her in the pen. She's going crazy. Apparently she was, she was biting. So my mom is like, she, so my mom hurriedly pushed, her, uh, put her in the pen. So now she's going crazy. Hey, enough. Enough. Did you take her outside to poop and pee? Okay. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> Wait, did I fucking run the top of the hour ad break or did I? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, trying to get a louder bark. Let's Birds are all changed now, so everyone gets pissed about their oh, little things. How racist are you? I want to hang out with you, Kai. I like hope yeah. I'm not a ten. I feel like that's a question for other people, not for me. Have you ever said or done something racist? I'm sure. Chatter sometimes confuse you weaponizing Nikki or someone else's own ignorance towards systems of oppression that actively oppress them as a means to have discussions about those systems. It's just a hard needle for some well-intentioned people to thread. I do think you win these people over in time, though, with their continued expressions of solidarity towards people of other races. Yeah. Mom, when you bring her, when you come back here, she's like... I, I don't know how to... I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I know. I understand. I give her a toy to chew on instead of your hands. And she's just not chewing on the toy. She just yell at her and say, no. Okay. I mean, one time out of nowhere where you screamed RuPaul is transphobic and that fucked a lot of shit directly, but yeah, wait, what?
When you've been attacked or bullied by someone, you can apply that to another person of the same associated group mistakenly because you've been deceived or hate, have a distorted idea of the people you meet. Yeah. I think growing up as a black person in America is probably a very traumatic experience. So it's a trauma response, which is why I'm like, which is why when I, or growing up as a trans person in America is a very traumatic experience, which is why I always say whenever I talk about uh, anti-racism or whenever I talk about like combating transphobia, uh, I always uh, uh, mention, I make it a point to like let people know I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who are, uh, you know, personally transphobic or personally racist that could be convinced otherwise, that could be deprogrammed. You know? Oh my God, that is such a dismissive way to describe it. But whatever, please move on. Wait, what? Don't pull me up. Too late, McCream Pie Supreme 69. I don't even know what I said that was dismissive. Go away. <laughs> no. The only way we can really tell how racist one is is how you feel when you see a group of young black men hanging out at night. If one feels nervous, that's their racism demonstrating itself. <laughs> yeah. I'm always nervous. <laughs> Sure, I have. Like microaggressions are a part of life, and uh, Explain I have. Me what's a microaggression? I mean, just saying things that you don't understand in the moment that can be harmful or hurtful. You cross the street when you see a group of uh, uh, black men at night. No, I cross them the fuck up and I break their ankles. Okay. Unfortunately, the only experience I have with outsiders and normies in general, black, white, doesn't really matter, is on the basketball courts in the mean streets. That's right. That's what I do. That's even more racist? Hell yeah. I do it racistly. Shadows don't touch your ass. They don't know you mean basketball. They think you literally break their ankles. No, there's no way that anyone literally got a takeaway from that where they thought that I was being, that I was. Fuller, you know, perpetuate stereotypes. What's the most racist thing you've ever done? Uh, <laughs> maybe just like move to the other side of the room when I see someone or just like have like a racist thought in my head and I'm just like, oh, why did I think that, you know? On a scale of one to 10, how racist are you? Factually, black people do not have the structural power in the United States to be racist. Racism comes from people in power in a position to have authority against those do, that do not have that power and that authority. Someone who identifies with the minority. I have literally the same jacket, like a similar one. It's a sick jacket. Community, um, it is not possible for me to be racist. So I believe that to an extent. I mean, is it racist to like, be racist to racist? I actually don't believe that black people can be racist. I don't know, bro. Like I still, there's still a couple of like, hesit like hesitant moments with around like white people, especially. I'm predicting how their behavior will be because of the color of their skin, which is like definitely racist, but it's like, it's a reaction. It's a reaction rather than like, I hate those people. It's like, I hate that those people probably hate me. So, yeah, yeah. I grew up around a lot of Latinos and Blacks, and they always told me, they were all like, yeah, white people's the enemy, and we should avoid them, and I always just had that kind of mindset, you know? I realized that the, the anger was hurting me more than anyone else around me, so it just took a lot of self-reflecting, figuring out where that anger was coming from, and then, you know, just learning to control it better. There are natural biases, especially when, you know, you like, are person of color because you, in essence, want to protect. I kind of believe that we can't be racist, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, totally. Black people can't be racist. Uh, yeah. Candace always is, is something else, just an alien from a different planet. Yeah. Larry Elder. Fucking Don Lemon, apparently, in the year 2013.
Like, of course. Of course you can be racist. We literally are all a product of, uh, especially if you grew up in the United States of America, a, a product of a white supremacist upbringing, okay? Like, it's just, there are hella racist uh, people in every community. It's like, it's, it's what you have to do uh, to overcome that. Protect yourself, and there's a lot of things that have happened to you and people you know. But I would say that I feel like I am very biased sometimes, or that I group people and I like kind of go along with stereotypes. A black person can be racist to a Hispanic person. A black person can be racist to Pacific Islander. Yeah, there's I can that still too. Be prejudice and hurt somebody, so I have to be aware of that. On a scale of one to ten, how racist are you? Like, here's the thing, like. Black people, all people can be racist to non-white people, people that would not be comfortably blanketed under uh, the white umbrella. But that is still another byproduct of white supremacist upbringing, white supremacist development. That's it. But when like, uh, you know, someone says like cracker, honky, redneck, hillbilly, that sort of thing, like that's just, that's discriminatory. Certainly it might not feel nice. I mean, I don't know. It's just like, it's not, it's not, but it's not the same. It's just not It's like an entirely different thing. Calling it racist, I think undermines and devalues what racism is because racism comes from structural racism without structural racism. What you all understand and consider to be racist would not be the same thing. It would just be hurtful. You know what I mean? It'd just be meanie bobini words. So it's of course not the same. I'm going to go with a four just because of ingrained shit. Lived in a small town, moved to the big city, and, and uh, learned a lot, so. How racist are you? Maybe like a, a five? I feel like five. What? Okay, so I am right. No, you're not. You literally... <laughs> no, you... <laughs> no. <laughs> Black people can still be absolutely educated by and and repeat white supremacies uh white supremacist sentiments what do you mean that's my point so no you're not right so yes black people can and sometimes are racist in the same exact way that like white people are against black people anti-blackness can exist in black people as well there are plenty of people okay that's just being lame but not racist no of course it is it's still it still is, it's just not as, it doesn't have that same oomph, but sometimes, if you are a professional white supremacist like Candace Owens, it actually has almost the same uh, uh, impact, because it has, it gives this, like, level of comfort that white people don't really need to be white supremacists, but, like, it certainly makes them feel good, you know what I mean? I wouldn't go so far as to say it's worse, but in some instances, it, is, it certainly does feel worse. Can you explain why the left doesn't focus on standing up for yourself and having thicker skin and focuses more on trying not to uh, let people offend verbally or hurt others? I'm not from a Western country, so I'm more used to society promoting the former. Um, because, like, <laughs> having thicker skin doesn't change uh, someone reinforcing the very clear and very real systematic forms of oppression every time they are being racist. Because it's not just, like, a mean word. Does that make sense? is a safe number for anyone to start at and then you can work yourself. I think that everyone's really, really biased. So I'd probably say five or six. I think we're all racist given the society we live in and the way racism is ingrained in us. There's a lot of shit that I learned consciously and subconsciously that takes a while to know that is happening and then a while to really undo what's happening. I was raised by like Catholic white parents. I can't help that. Like, as a child, I learned certain things that, like, now living in a very progressive city, I... How raised do you like, think you are? I'm like a nine. <laughs> Maybe a ten. Highly disagree. See, I'm too comfortable. I don't give a fuck if, if, like, 
I, I'm I'm too confident and too comfortable in uh, all of the advocacy that I've done with respect to anti-racism that like I don't give a shit, which probably does put me the uh, onlooker that is like completely oblivious to who I am or what I represent. That uh, that probably puts me at like again, if especially if you pair that up with like what you have seen from other people, um, at like a fucking five at least. What are you doing? My mom has totally given up. Okay, you're just not even take. She's just running around. She's walking around. All right, take her out again, please. She's like near the door. She might want to pee or poop, please. Thank you. <coughs> Agree with? What's the most racist thing you've ever done? I used to work retail, and my managers on the walkie would like tell me to customer service certain people like on the walkie, um, like their descriptions were just like, just cringe. Like, And you like participated? Yeah, once. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I know that. Oh, your entire family and ancestry have been repressed via discriminatory practices from jobs being given to those white names and post-slavery treatment. We'll just get thicker skin, exactly. There is no getting, there is no, uh, there is no getting over it, you know what I mean? Whenever someone uses or utilizes uh, racist language, whenever someone utilizes racist language, okay, they are basically reigniting, reinforcing the current structural forms of oppression that exist. So it's different. You know what I mean? It's, it's different than just like saying someone is a honky. Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how racist are you? The furthest negative that you could possibly believe in. I don't think I'm racist at all. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a zero, but I do think sometimes like if we're not aware, casual racism occurs. So I don't really notice people's color or really hold any judgments. Some people just like have like a culture and like a way of thinking where they don't realize they're playing into like stereotypes. I think a lot of people um, have some type of like internalized racism, so I don't think anyone is really like a zero. How racist are you? Intentionally racist? <laughs> I would say zero. There have been moments where I've said something ignorant and it was corrected. One of my friends at the time was like Egyptian and I like made an assumption that like one of her gods were a cat. She just didn't respond well to that. I feel like you could reevaluate your number maybe. <laughs> oh no. How racist are you? I come in the range. Sometimes awesome. stereotypes will pop up in my head. That used to make me feel really guilty that I like would think these stereotypes. But then I learned that like being anti-racist isn't just like not having any prejudices. It's in fact recognizing when they pop up and dismissing them and knowing like that isn't true. That's just a stereotype. That's just a prejudice. On a scale from one to 10, how racist are you? But I think everyone has that internalized biases. So I'd say I have to say I'm, I'm maybe a two. Maybe a two or three. Three. I will give myself a three. A three because I'm not active enough with it. Wherever you grew up, like you kind of I'm not going to say like you can't help it, but um, you're kind of fit. fed things when you're little. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And I recognize that I am a white person and I have a lot of white privilege and I've benefited a lot in my career and in the world from the color of my skin. And I can't say that I haven't like at some points enjoyed reaping the rewards of the colors of my skin. Growing up in a small town um, that was predominantly white, I think there's a lot of unconscious bias to me to be mitigated and caring more about seeming like you're a bad person rather than just like genuinely being a good person, whether you get credit for that or not. What's the most racist thing you've done? I don't know if it's like me being racist, but it's like me being in the face of racism and being racist back. So I was in Turkey in 2020 during like China virus, um, and people wouldn't let me on public transportation because they thought I was Chinese, so I would just tell them I'm Korean. I would just pick a different race whenever. Like, I was like, Konnichiwa, I'm Japanese. And they'd be like, all right, come on in, you know? What? There's no fucking way. Turkish people don't know what? <laughs> Turkish people think every Asian person is Chinese, just like Americans do.
<laughs> what the fuck? They're not going to know Konnichiwa. What the fuck? <laughs> There's no shot. They would just be like, no, you're Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> they would just be like if they're gonna be raised or as chinese people in 2020 which maybe there was i don't know but uh they would still they would not know the distinction between oh this person's japanese is different so you were playing on their racism yeah yeah what's the most racist thing that's happened to you i've been called a wet back um, flat out been called the N-word. How that make you feel? Hurts, you know? Just to be judged immediately off of the color of my skin. Like when I was a kid, like the neighbors used to not play with me because I was black and they would be, they would play with my brother because he was light skinned. What can people do to dismantle their own racism? That's a personal journey. As a black man, I'm not here to educate you, but there's plenty of resources out there. I would say look inward in moments where you feel uncomfortable, lean into that. Ask